What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD, got a first look and demo of the newly released Final Cut Pro 10. Just hit the Mac App Store this morning, it's going to run you $299 and it's going to come at a whopping 1.33 gigs in size, it's actually not that big. Uh, and on a side note, we have Motion 5 in the Apple Store along with Compressor 4, those are going to run you $49 a pop, those are available today to download as well. But this is Final Cut Pro 10, so let's go ahead and jump into that program. This is what you guys want to see. Uh, and I'll just say a quick note, this is going to be a first look. I'm barely uh, browsing into this, so I haven't really learned it in depth yet. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick demo. There will be more in-depth videos later coming on. Uh, I imported a couple clips right here. This is straight from my 60D SD card slot. I wanted to see how the H.264 uh, files reacted to the new Final Cut since it was supposed to do well with those. Run you guys back in time, show you guys the import options. You can either do it from your camera, so if you're doing this like Firewire or DV, you have that option as well. Uh, or you can import directly from your computer or SD card if you're using a DSLR. You can also import old iMovie projects. Uh, it does look a lot like iMovie, as some of you guys are probably noticing right now. Uh, we have a little quick clip select. Let's go ahead and drag it down to the timeline. And this is going to show you where it's rendered. Uh, and there's actually a cool little window right here. If you go up, it's actually a key command is Command 9. Uh, and that'll show you the background text. So if you are importing something and it's analyzing it, transcoding it, it'll show you everything right here. Uh, just if you want to see what's going on in the background. Uh, now if we head over to the right, again very similar to iMovie, we've got a couple options right here. We have video effects built in. Uh, we got a slot for photos, music, transitions, text, and then uh, introductions basically. So that's going to be themes they're going to call it. So very similar to uh, iMovie again. So we I think we've seen a theme right here, but it's going to be boosted up on steroids. All right, so for the fun of it, let's go ahead and add a quick effect and see how it uh, handles it. We got that on there. Add a little bit of noise, and you guys can see it's already been rendered. Actually, it's not been rendered, so there we go. It's going to render it right there. This little uh, circle-looking guy right here is showing off the render, so we're about 30%. Uh, once that's done, it's going to do it in the background. We can still look at the clip, and you guys can see playing it. Uh, it still functions perfectly. Uh, it just happens to be rendering in the background. And let's go ahead and scroll through these while... That's rendered in the background. So we got aged film, aged paper. We got a lot of effects: camcorder, cast, cold steel, combat. Uh, we got contrast, crop and feather, crosshatch, dazzle. Uh, so there are a lot of effects. We got fish eye, and I'm just scrolling through these, and there's a lot. Uh, so insect eye, intro flashes, mask, old world, photo recall, uh, quick flash spin, projector, radial, sci-fi. So there's a lot of built-in effects, and I'm just barely uh. These are audio effects right here. And I kind of really like this layout actually compared to the old one. Uh, audio effects kind of could be a little bit daunting to work with. Uh, now it seems it's going to be like a lot easier. So the background render is done. Really no different from what you saw a second ago. It was handling it very well. Uh, and there it is. So let's go ahead and look at a couple more things. We got text, and again, the music, photos. Right here, you can balance color, show color board. Uh, so color is actually built in uh, to this, and you can actually adjust everything from here. So. I'm not doing everything serious, just showing you guys a little uh, example of how that would work. So we got color saturation, exposure, uh, and the layout is really, really nice. So this has just been a quick little first look. I'm definitely going to dive more into this and probably do some in-depth uh, separate videos. I know I want to check out stabilization. I also want to do the uh, auto sync from a DSLR and a separate audio source. So look forward to those videos coming out soon. Uh, I'm going to have a little playlist right here. So if you guys, once those videos are up, click this playlist, and that's going to bring you back to all the other Final Cut Pro 10 videos I'm going to do. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys pick this up, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. As always, feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.